Our buddy Scooter Brothers always would tell us, you can't change what you can't measure. So we love to measure things, don't we, Don? You know, we've been doing that for a long time now. Measuring things, to, to be as accurate as we have been on all our testing, it's so imperative that we have very accurate measuring devices. And this thing here, this is next level. So our buddy, Mark Malberg at Digital Metrology, digitalmetrology.com is his website. There's all kinds of cool, great videos there. He's come up with this really amazing package. There's two pieces of software. One's called Hatch View, and it's actually an optical crosshatch checking tool. So we can put this in the cylinder bore, and you can see the crosshatch angle. And it will show you right there what that included angle is. And what's amazing is, you can see it with your eyes. You after you've seen it with the probe, when you go back in there, you go, oh my gosh, I can actually see it. And one of the nice things is when it's on the screen, which I just learned, when it's on the screen, it will give you the actual angle of the crosshatch right on the screen as you're showing the picture. It's, it's truly amazing. Right, and there's a little blob thing in the background that basically tells you how sharp it is. Like, so if it's really scattered, it's going to be more of a big giant blob shape. Yeah. If it's actually a pretty tight crosshatch, very defined crosshatch, it's going to be more of a star shape. So yes. it's, if it's a kind of, yeah, it, it really lets you see what it is. That's why it's called Hatch View, Crosshatch it's, View. It's, it's a microscope for bores. And it, but it makes it's a USB it, microscope. Yeah, and it plugs into the computer. It's a microscope for bores. And, and instead of just looking at it with your eyes, which is what we've done for years and years and years, a lot of engine builders are actually using this to perfect their cylinder bore finish. Because as we know, especially in the last few yes. years working with Total Seal, as we know, the proper finish on the bore is so incredibly important to get the ring seal perfect. Because that's really the thing, it's two part. That crosshatch angle is just as important as the surface finish. It's the one two punch that's correct. of getting that piston ring to seal, right? Correct. Besides bore geometry, it's gotta be straight, it's gotta be round, mm -hmm. but that next part of it is surface finish. Surface finish is two things. It's the roughness and the crosshatch angle. Now, those that valleys that are creating that crosshatch are the valleys that hold the oil. So you wanna know what that surface finish is. You wanna know the roughness, you wanna know the crosshatch angle. This package tells you both. It takes the guesswork out of it, Lake. That's the thing that's so important. It takes all the guesswork out of it. And what's really amazing is, because you can run this microscope from the top of the bore all the way down to the bottom of the bore, and you can see the crosshatch angle change, because what does the hone head have well, to do? Well, you, you gotta remember the hone's going up and down like this, but as it reaches the bottom, it slows down, and then it changes directions. The same thing happens at the top. Yeah. You can actually see it with this microscope. Yeah, so here in the middle, you can see like this right here has got about 55, 57 degrees crosshatch angle at the top, at the very middle. But you go all the way to the bottom down here, it goes down to 36, we get a little bit lower, it's down to 24, oh, on the very bottom is 12. That's just because the, the hone stopped. The hone's spinning, but it stops for a yeah. second and then comes back up. Right. Now this is this block was done on an older hone. As Lake knows, some of the newer hones have compensated for that, but just a, a test block here that we're, we're, we're yeah. explaining how this machine works. Right, so the next part of it, right, that's a crosshatch angle. Then you got your handy dandy profilometer. You can then put in that bore, same bore you saw that crosshatch angle. You can locate it in there. Again, our buddy Brad Lagman at QMP makes all these amazing cool tools. So now I can hold it in there. I don't have to mess with holding my data on the handheld device anymore. Now I can run it straight from the laptop. Now all I have to do is click measure. Because it's a touch screen. It's a touch screen. There's gonna be a lot of folks that have never seen this technology before. So what's happening is there's a stylus mm -hmm. that goes against the finish of the bore itself. What the machine is doing is the stylus is actually moving and it's 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 reading mm -hmm. the actual roughness of the bore and it's and it's showing you the peaks in the valleys. Yeah, it's taking a, a trace yes. of the 
peaks in the valleys of that song, like you said. Exactly right. And so, but now with this new system here, I mean, instead of just using the handheld, which you you, you can look at and say, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. With the with everything going to the laptop now, you can save everything. You can yes. print it. You can do whatever you want with the data. It stores the data and it just makes it so much better for, for us and so much better for the customer who, who wants to know what was my surface finish before you put the engine together. Right. No more screenshots on your phone. Exactly. <laughs> of the handheld. How many times does that happen? Well, yeah. my, my camera roll on my phone is pretty much pictures of the handheld, right? Exactly. right? Yeah. And now they're right here. And the great thing, like Don said, you've got all these areas of things. So we talk about RVK and RVK all the time. This blue area shows you the RVK. You can see all the different screens all on one. It's, here's your ratio curve. Tell them what it is, what the RVK, tell them the difference. So the RVK is the valley. That valley is what holds the oil Correct. to both be the seal and to lubricate the ring Correct. and the cylinder. Mm -hmm. So the RVK is really, really important. And the RPK is the peak height. Right, and that's the what lines that's, that are above the valley. Seats. Right, exactly. So you can see all that, and it's color coded right here. So this is a great way to see what's happening on these surfaces that your eye can't see. Right. But these tools allow you to see it visually on the laptop, and more importantly, like Don said, to save it. To save it, and, they, and you can see it at the same time. You're not working with one and then stop and go to the other. You're working with the same cylinder at the same time. You can right. do that at the same time, which makes this a very, very powerful tool. Yeah, both devices plug into the same laptop, and yep. you can see it all right there. Exactly. It's pretty incredible. Thank you, Mark Mulberg, for making this incredibly cool software. DigitalMetrology.com, check them out. Thank you for watching the video.